Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're continuing our Anatomy of a Template series. So today we're gonna to show you how to import your tracks and reassign them, inputs, outputs, and get it all together as fast as you can so you can be creative and mix. So that's what we're working on today. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this is our template we created to mix our tune in the box. So let's import all of our tracks that we need for this session. So we're gonna import session data. All right, so we have all these audio tracks. Great, so we've imported all of our audio. Everyone's color coded, they're in a nice order. And if you notice, they all pretty much have some basic plugins on them. Pro Q2 for some filtering and an SSL channel. And that's pretty much it on all of them, as if we had a console. And then on some of these other ones, like the acoustic guitars, they may have a couple more things on them text or whatever so it's like we sort of pre-patched in our basic things we like and we and we kind of have some balances happening here so what we have to do now is figure out where we're going to sign them and how we're going to where we're going to put them so let's take a look at our template in a bigger view and let's activate the things we need to activate and we'll get rid of the things we don't. So we are needing a mix print, we're gonna need a mix aux, and we have all our side chains we're definitely gonna want happening in there. So we're gonna activate those. Okay, great, so all our front end things are activated. Now we're going to also bring in all of our aux sub masters because those are important we'll activate those and then we'll review them to see what we need and we don't need okay so they're all activated so now we're going to check out things we don't need we don't have a shout or gang vocals so we're going to hide those. And we don't really have power guitars. We're going to hide and activate those. We have some guitars, a uh, tremolo guitar, but it's really just a regular guitar part that pops in the tremolo. So we're going to hide and make that inactive. We'll send all of our acoustics to one bus. We don't have strings, pads, synths. We'll hide and make those inactive. We don't have an electric piano or an acoustic piano. Hide those and make them inactive. With quite a few bass submasters. I don't know if we'll need all of those. All right, so now in our case, what we did was we already had our um, our audio tracks for the kick, for the snare, for the toms, for the rooms, for the hats, and the overheads. So we don't need those. We'll hide and make those inactive. They're already inactive. Uh, we don't have an acoustic piano or a Wurlitzer, so we'll hide those. The electric guitars, we already have all of those and they're already kind of balanced and blended, so we can hide that. And uh, all of our vocals we already have tracks for, so we can hide those. So let's make, let's take a look at our things that are happening down here. All right, so we have 
kicks, snares, all that stuff. So let's bring up all our drums. And then we'll start assigning samples. So let's bring down our kick sample. Let's find our other kick samples. Make those active. And our snare samples. Bring those up and we'll activate those. I'm going to activate the kick samples. So now I'm going to cut and paste. So now I'm going to cut and paste everything to their appropriate tracks. Alright, so all we have to do now is we have to assign the existing tracks to their correct outputs. So we'll assign kicks to the kick submaster. We'll assign the snare to the snare submaster. We'll assign the toms to the tom submaster. We'll assign the overheads to the overhead or drum metal as I call it submaster ambience to the drum room master and hats go with the overheads cool so the drums are just about ready to go so I'm going to double check all the phase alignment on the drums right now and what we're going to do is we're going to use this auto align plugin and here we go okay so the drums are all phase aligned Okay, so we just phase aligned all of the drums and they're all assigned to their correct output. So let's check the bass tracks. So we got a few percussion things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these percussion tracks and assign them to the percussion submaster. So we have some percussion, so we're gonna bring those up next to the drums, so we keep all that stuff together. So let's see what we have in the way of aux subs for the percussion. Okay, so we assigned our percussion to all of our uh, aux subs, and now we're gonna deal with our bass tracks. So we have all our bass DIs and everything here ready to go, so we're just going to assign those to the bass output master. We're going to delete these existing bass tracks because we don't need them. We'll just hide them for now. All right, so we have a B3 up there, so we're going to assign the B3 to the keyboard output and the B3 output actually in this case I'll make it active all right so the keyboards activated let's bring up our acoustics first we'll assign them to the acoustics aux submaster okay so we have all our guitars and our keyboards so let's kind of these are our main electric guitars so we'll assign them to EG1 slides we can assign to EG3 because that might have a little more delay on it the reverse we can assign to EG3 
three. And the trem fills we can assign to EG4. And the B3 we can assign to the B3 bus. So let's take all of these and bring them up. Now I notice we had some other things to look at. So let's bring these up first and then check that out. All right, so we neglected to assign our percussion and things. So let's, um, we, we don't have any submasters for those. So let's make some new ones. So we'll make th three subs. And they're all going to be reddish. They're all going to be solo safe. So this one's going to be percussion. Next one's going to be claps. And the next one's going to be loops. Let's name them all. The first one's going to be percussion. Next one's going to be claps. And the last one's going to be loops. And we need to make some buses for those so we should have had those but for some reason we do not okay so those are all going to be Sign two. The output's going to go to the mix. And we'll assign their inputs. Percussion claps. Okay, good. We'll bring those up. go with the rest of the drums. Now, usually I would have some kind of uh, something happening on those. So let's take care of that. We definitely need to side chain A on all of these because they all have drum percussion type of things happening. And um, we'll definitely need to see possibly and possibly the tape for some transient rounding. So these should have been built in the template. So we wouldn't even be having this extra five minutes of things to do if we had that together, right? So let's take those off if we don't need them. And let's see if I can do this correctly without botching that up. Okay, great. So that's ready. We have to assign their outputs. Let's see if we did that. And we did not. So the two tambourines are going to the percussion. Clap is going to the clap. And the loops, the pop kit's going to the loops. Even though it's a drum set, it can be processed as a singular entity. All right, so we assigned our electric guitars, we assigned our keyboards. So what's left? Vocals, assigning, and then. Okay, so we have a lead vocal in the verse, and a lead vocal in the chorus, and the bridge and a lead vocal double. So we're gonna send those all to LV, which is a mono lead vocal bus. Then we're gonna take the second singer in case we pan, and we have, a, have a, another lead vocal bus that's a stereo bus that's also called lead vocal T and Q in case I do triples or quads. And then this one should be in mono because that's his, uh, his, her lead, I'm sorry. And then she's doing a harmony that harmony that I'll, in the bridge, which will probably be in mono right behind it. And then telephone echoes, we can put in the lead vocal 
triple double because they pretty much have the same effects as the lead vocal. And then we have um, his vocal slash harmonies in case I pan, tra pad them some, tra panned, they're already panned somewhere, they can go there. Okay, so now the background vocals, unisons and all that stuff. So this is a... Um, all going to go into a group background vocal as are these harmonies and now we have background vocal pads we'll assign those and the last thing we have to assign is this little effecty vocal thing. We want to send that to a stereo. So now everybody's assigned where they're supposed to be. So all we really have to do now is figure out what effects we're going to use and activate them. So I'm going to bring the effects to the bottom. Okay, so we don't need the spring reverb. I think we have that already on the guitar track. Um, I don't think we'll need the stadium reverb. We will use the room. Let's check it from the top. So we definitely need the vocal verb. We need the small verb. We need the ADT. We're not going to need the flanger. We'll definitely use the pitch shift, the vocal verbs. So let's activate those. And we'll put our pitch shift up there. And activate that. And the vocals have a, an eighth note delay and a quarter note. I don't think we'll need the vocal echo throws, so we're gonna put that away and hide that. Background vocal verb. background vocal chorus. All right, so we have a room for the guitars and delays for the guitars. We don't need the dotted eighth delay, so we'll make these active. And then we're gonna hide the dotted eighth delay and we're gonna hide the flanger because I don't think we'll be using that. Right, so tile room verb is like a small verb, chamber verb, hall verb. So that's smaller to bigger. Abbey Road plates, good. 480 drums, revive drums, cello room. We'll make those active. Then we'll unmute this. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. We have all our effects down here. We have all our background vocals. They're assigned to some background vocal submasters. We have our VCAs, which we're gonna move up and assign. After our VCAs, we have our B3. We have all our guitars, we have our acoustic guitars, we have our basses, all our drums and percussion. Then we have all our aux submasters for everything. Then we have our side chains. And then we have our mix aux, which is where the mix is. All right, so we have everything imported in our in the box template. So let's hit play and let's see what it sounds like just playing it straight out the way it is.
Went to a dive bar to have. Didn't get too far well. when old Jack Daniels came a walking my way. Tennessee. Cool. Hope you enjoyed this video of how to import your tracks for mixing into our simplified in the box template. Once again, please subscribe. We could use your support. Please like the video. We always appreciate it. Hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when more like this are coming. Drop us a comment or any questions. We'll be glad to get back to you. Thanks again. Hope you enjoy it. Happy mixing.